How to survive in the swamp cave? Hey, before the video starts, I'm gonna need you to bring some gas. Yes, gasoline. This channel, Kaiser from Crete, is a fabricator, and I farm everything but gas. And that gas is your subscription. Are we clear on that? Now, if you get the gas by subscribing, video starts. Now, this is where we are at the map. And this is the coordinates of this cave. Now, first thing you do when you got here is to build a pillbox with a few beds inside. Stone or metal, you decide. Doing the swamp cave run will give you a lot of experience. You can even reach level 100 and unlock heavy turrets, which that is your second goal on this game. But here is the problem. Swamp cave is poisonous. Because of that, you will die in there in a few seconds. So now that's a lot of damage. 30 every few seconds. You're just level 68. How can you run the swamp cave? Now we're gonna see what we need to survive inside this cave. Medbrew, we can make that in any levels. But the best item for the swamp cave is a gas mask. Just one gas mask is enough. But that's a 85 level item. And the next thing is scuba, but that unlocks at the level 81 and you are just 68. How do you run the swamp cave now? You don't have the levels for scuba or the gas mask, but you have enough levels for this. So that's the answer. You just need to get ghillie armor. Kinda yes, but not really. Anyway, let's see how these things is gonna affect the damage we take from the poison. So 30 damage with flag on. With flag, you're gonna need 200 med brews. You can run the swamp cave with flag, but you're gonna need at least 200 med brews. That's a lot, I know. That's why we got ghillie armor. If you don't wanna make that much med brew, you can make ghillie armor. So now let's put on the ghillie. Let me fill the HP before we take any damage. So with full ghillie, we take 7 or 8 damage. That's gonna lower the number of medbrew you're gonna need. I think 100 medbrew with full ghillie armor will be more than enough. Maybe even less. If you put on a gas mask, you will take no damage at all. No damage. But it's a 85 level item. Also, not so easy to make early game. Let's switch to flag 30 damage. Now the gas mask, no damage. This is the ultimate item to survive the gas. Now let's see how scuba works. How much damage we're gonna take with the scuba. That's less than 30. Three scuba parts and we still take damage. Now with the four scuba parts, looks like we take no damage, so I think every item absorbs some amount of damage from the poison. Let's remove this and see. Looks like 7 or 8 damage, I think it's 7.5. Let's add some ghillie, the ghillie boots. Was that 3 damage? Yes, it was. Let's add one more ghillie part. So we take no damage right now. Three scuba parts and two ghillie parts will absorb the whole damage dealt by the poison. It's not like the water. It's not about the scuba tank. It is just a part. Let me show you that. So now we take damage with two scuba parts and three ghillie parts. But if we replace the boots with flippers, we're fine again. So what we need is three scuba parts and two ghillie parts. Since scuba tanks loses durability with time, I think you should get these parts. You'll be slow, but you're not gonna be on foot anyway. You'll just ride your dino in and out all the time. If you change it, you can run around faster, but you're losing your tank slowly. You have to be careful with that so i'm gonna assume you have no access to scuba and gas mask you don't want to make ghillie armor so can we run the swamp cave in and out with flak and 200 med brews? yes we can also hazard suit doesn't work here for some reason i know it's pretty wrong but it's just how arc works anyway that's all you need to survive in the swamp cave i hope this helps you out thank you for watching dear watchers see you at the next video